Where's the crack at? You see it right there? Yeah, I see it. Cut, 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 cut. And it goes up for yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Better than he was before. Better. Stronger. Faster. I'm bringing the demon in today because last time I was at the drag strip, I kind of heard some knocking, like a knocking noise on the bottom of it. And I got a race coming up and I really wanted Luis to check it out just to be safe. If somebody hears a noise or something like that on that car, can they set an appointment at Metter Dodge, bring the car in so they can, sure uh, can. have them look they at sure it? Sure can. Every time that we uh, check uh, all the points, uh, safety points also, and I say make sure that there's no recalls and nothing wrong with it. Wow, there you go. Uh, Roberto is on it, guys. <laughs> all right, brother. All right, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I brought it in to uh, have Q, the man himself, to check it out. Yeah, we're going to do a visual inspection just to see it started off first. And then uh, once it's up in the air, I'll get the rolls, the wheels rolling. That mm -hmm. way we can hear any noise that's going on while you might be driving down the road. Okay. Obviously, we can't test it under the conditions you had on the drag strip, so we can do the best we can what we got here on the left board. It felt like it was coming like from the middle, from the middle right here. I was just doing a burnout, doing a burnout, and then going down the track, I kind of felt it a little bit, so. After checking it out, it looks like, uh, it's hard to see, but you know, during the visual inspection, that look at some things out. It's moving a little bit more than it should. And obviously, it's got a, it's a two-piece drive shaft with the uh, bearing in the middle. It's got a, basically of a vibration dampener and also a support structure. So if you, if you can see down in the back, we're, we're missing material. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, it's down missing. About halfway here. It's mi yeah, it's missing in the middle. Obviously, it's meant to reduce vibration and isolate noise. So once that's gone, it loses its job. It's not doing its job. So I'll put you here down when you burn out. So it, it makes sense. So we'll just go ahead and check the rest of the stuff that we got here. Oh, look who just showed up, the man that everybody's been asking about this Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> what's going Miguel, on? what's up, brother? Hey, what's going on? What, what's going <laughs> It's loving this cold weather, man. Oh, um, yeah, I bet it is loving the cold weather. That's what the Subaru is yeah. for, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> what was the case with your injectors? You get your new injectors in, yeah, obviously. Well, I just sent them off to get them clean mm -hmm. and then put them back in and fire right up. Well, you know, my car was knocking the last time I was at the drag strip, so I brought it in for Luis to look at, yeah. and he found that the bearing in the drive shaft has gone out like the, in the middle. The, uh, the, the mount, yeah, the, middle, the center support down on the middle drive shaft. Yeah, if he pushes it and you look from here, you can see it. You can see it's oh, gone. That's yeah. way too much. Yeah. Looks like here, I thought it was just some dirt, but no, it looks like we've got a little fracture in the uh, differential. Yeah, going along here, it looks like there's a little crack down here. And it kind oh, of- Like a little hairline crack. On right, it. right. You have a remarkable opportunity, Doctor. I am prepared to give you all the money you require to make that happen. Are you serious? It could cost millions. Whatever it takes, we want you to do it. What happens after he's been equipped with all these new parts? We have work for him. What kind of work? All right, guys, check it out. It's Demonology. I'm here with my man, 
Nate Dog. Nate Dog. Tell everybody the name of your transmission shop, Hydrostar bro. Hydrostar Transmissions is the shop name. And Tell us what that name is again. Hydrostar Transmissions. And where is it located at? Uh, 400 Industrial Boulevard, uh, Mansfield, Texas. So what well, do you do, Nate Dog? My specialty Dawg? here is uh, drag racing transmissions. Uh, right here we got a power glide that's fixing to go in the customer's car, but today we got technology on the uh, lift, getting ready to do some uh, upgrades to this thing. Hey, man, y'all give my man Nate Dog a holler if you need some trans work done. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so check out this project that we're going to do. There's a couple of things going on with my demon uh, that I found was that can you tell me about the drive shaft so, so when we inspected the demonologist vehicle we found that the drive shaft center bearing so it's bear, uh, center bearing support for it the bushing part of it is torn um, also when we were doing the inspection we found a crack on one of the ears of the uh, differential case uh, down at the uh, top left we we'll go ahead and, and uh, get that replaced with uh, a different unit I contacted my brother Mark Carlisle at Carlisle Racing and Mark Carlisle was able to get in contact with the drive shaft shop who sent me a carbon fiber drive shaft which I talked to my race coach Rod Hetzel who said it's a must, it's a safety feature. Got with Nate Dog. Nate Dog said he'll take care of the installation Absolutely. of the uh, carbon fiber drive shaft. He believes it's also a safety feature and a must on this car. And you know my man Q is gonna drop that uh, differential in. We're gonna put the 262 differential in. That's the differential I had left over from my Hellcat. And we're gonna take that to the test to see if the car goes quicker with the 262 differential. All right, guys, check it out. After running the Dodge Demon numerous times, guys, I want to say well over 700 passes, uh, I ran into two problems. One was the differential. The differential had a slight crack in it, and I'm glad that my mechanic checks it every time I come in. We were able to catch it before it broke. Now, I'm responsible for that because I did put a diff brace on my car, which voids the warranty, but it's something that I found that drag racers do. They beef up parts that they know are weak. Another thing that I'm responsible for is my drive shaft. I did so many passes in that drive shaft that the bushing in that drive shaft literally wore itself out to the point to where it's starting to bam up into the floorboard of the car. I was able to contact Mark Carlisle with Carlisle Racing. He was able to get in contact with the drive shaft shop who sent me a carbon fiber drive shaft that's now in the car. Guys, I was able to get a brand new diff brace. This diff brace, I believe, is gonna solve the problem and it's from performance development. After showing that diff brace to uh, several shops that do rear end chassis, I believe this is gonna be the fix all, fix this particular problem. There'll be more to that later on guys, after I get some more passes with the diff brace and with the drive shaft, I'll be sure to give you guys plenty of feedback. What I did instead of running the, the differential that has a slight hairline crack in it, I had a 262 differential that was in my 2015 Hellcat and I was able to take that diff, which I had sitting in the garage because I put a 309 diff in the Hellcat and I slapped that into the Demon. Also found out that because I raced with different tire sizes that Dodge would not cover the warranty on the drive shaft or the diff. You know, I treat the car like a true drag car, but you know, that's understandable. Uh, Dodge wants you to stay within the parameters that they designed the car for, but drag racers change tire sizes on the eighth mile compared to what they run in the quarter mile. But, you know, it's just something, you know, that I have to live with. I mean, it's not a big problem. It's neither here nor there. So we're going to get the Demon back up and running and back out on the track again. Anyway, guys, I'm Demonology. You know what I'm doing. Snatching soap. Peace. Better. Stronger. Faster. Hey guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and also click the bell. Check out the videos up at the top, and if you get a chance, check out our merch store. Peace.